So here is question number 31. An elevator weighing 10 ton is to be lifted up at a constant velocity of 0.6 meter per second. What should be the minimum power of the motor to be used g 10 meter per second square given? Now suppose this is the elevator lifted up with constant velocity 0.6 meter per second therefore acceleration will be 0. From here tension will be equal to weight of the elevator therefore T through which we are lifting will be equal to mg or m is 10 ton that is 10 into 10 to the power 3 kilogram multiplied by gravity 10. T comes 10 to the power 5 Newton. Now power delivered P is equal to force into velocity T into V. 10 to the power 5 multiplied by 0 0.6. After solving we will get P as 6 into 10 to the power 4 watt which further can be written 60 kilo watt. Therefore option number 3 is absolutely correct. We will go with third option. Moving on to the next that is 32 number. A ball is dropped from the top of tall tower. The ratio of kinetic energy of the ball in first and third second of its motion will be what? We know very well the ratio of displacement covered in first and third second ratio of displacement covered in first and third second will be given as 1 is to 5. Therefore, since force acting is same on both that is mg mg, therefore work done ratio will also be 1 is to 5 and from work energy theorem we know very well that work done is equal to change in kinetic energy therefore change in kinetic energy ratio should also be equal to 1 is to 5 option number 1 we will go with moving on to the next that is 33 number here is question number 33 everyone Vector V, vector P and vector K if denote velocity, momentum and kinetic energy of the particle then now since we know very well that dK is m vector V dot dV therefore dK can be written dot product P dot dV. So if you look at the options we can say that option number 2 is absolutely correct. So we will go with option number 2 only. Moving on to the next that is 34 number. Question number 34 everyone, internal forces cannot change, linear momentum of the system, kinetic energy of the system, potential energy of the system, both 1 and 2. Now since we know very well that internal forces, they get cancelled with each other, they cannot produce any acceleration, means velocity will be constant, so they cannot change the linear momentum of the system. So since internal forces in a system therefore they can't produce acceleration therefore velocity will be constant Therefore, linear momentum will also be constant. So, option number 1 will be correct. Linear momentum of a system will be constant due to the internal forces. Moving on to the next, that is 35 number. So, here is question number 35 everyone. Two blocks A and B of masses 4 kg and 12 kg are placed on a smooth horizontal surface. A force of magnitude 80 Newton is applied on A as shown in figure the contact force between capital A and capital B will be what? Now, let us consider these two blocks as a whole means as a system we will get the acceleration of blocks as total force upon total mass that is 16 solving it 5 meter per second square. Now, this is the surface A block B block. Now, a try to push block B with a contact reaction R 
Similarly, in the same manner, from Newton's third law, B try to push block A, but in opposite direction with the same force R. The forces acting on block A will be 80 Newton in right direction, R Newton in left direction. On the other hand, the forces acting on block B is only one force that is R, due to which it is moving with acceleration A. So we know very well total force is equal to mass into acceleration. Total force R is equal to mass that is 12, acceleration that is 5. So the contact reaction between the blocks given by R is equal to 16 Newton. Option number 4 we will go with. Moving on to the next that is 36 number.